Hi everybody, welcome back to Size Thai Cooking Channel. Um, today what we're going to be doing is cooking a dish called Pasi Yu Noodles. Um, what this is, one of my favorite dishes, uh, when I go back to Thailand, when I order, when I go to a Thai restaurant and order out, it's those flat rice noodles that are really wide, um, and then it's a really simple dish to make. I make it for my friends and families all the time. And it's literally one of my favorite dishes to make. And it's really simple. There's three main ingredients that we use that you have to go purchase at the store. Um, so we're gonna use some chicken tenders right here. Uh, so what, you know, you could get this at any store. You could use chicken breast if you'd like to, but today I'm just looking at, I always like you to use chicken tenders because they're so, a little bit more tender than the breast when, when you cook it on the wok. The second ingredient is going to be our Chinese broccoli, if you can see right here. Um, these go really well with the dish, but if you can't find any Chinese broccoli at the store, you could always substitute that for regular broccoli. And the second and the third most important ingredient uh, is the fresh rice noodles. And these you can get at the store, any places like H Mart will have them. Um, and then here you could actually go to down to the city of Chicago and purchase them anywhere you want. Um, so I kind of like there's four four main ingredients and the last one is actually the egg. Um, we always put egg in all our noodles. So pad thai, pad si noodles, lard nar, fried rice. Um, that's what we use. And the sauces we're going to be using today are following. So we're going to use the maki soy sauce. That's the one we're going to be putting in first. Um, I always like to put that sauce in first. And then two, we're going to be using the panda soy sauce, which, panda oyster sauce, excuse me, not the soy sauce, panda oyster sauce for the second item we're going to be put, sauce we're going to be putting in. And third, to give that, that kind of like a darker color, we're going to be using the black soy sauce, which I really like. It has a sweet flavor. And to top it all off, we're going to be using a little sugar on top. Really simple ways to prep this dish is by cutting up the, uh, the, the well, what we'll do first is cut up the Chinese broccoli. Alright, so what we're going to start first by prepping first is our Chinese broccoli. So I like to get probably close to a pound of Chinese, half a pound of Chinese broccoli. It, it, it looks like there's going to be a lot of vegetables on here, but when you put it on the wok, it, it really becomes, it loses its volume a lot and all of this seems like it's going to be nothing in the, in the pan. So what I like to do is really just go ahead and cut it into two inch lengths, right? Really simple. Um, prep time on this is literally five minutes guys, so I wouldn't even call it any prep time. So look at this, two inches length, and then... And then we've got it all done here. That's it. And that's done for the Chinese broccoli. Let's see here. And we'll dump it into a bowl right here so that it'll be ready to use. And if you can see, I got all my sauces laid out there. So I've got the, you know, I, I didn't mention that we're going to be using canola oil, but in any stir fry dish, we're going to be using canola oil. So that is actually something that. I won't ever talk about it again because we always use canola oil for cooking. Um, you know, you can use vegetable oil if you want, but I just I've done the research and canola oil is a lot better for you. And it when you cook, you can use canola oil when you cook. It doesn't add all that um, the grease all over your house, so that's a really benefit to me, um, especially when you're cooking at home. So what we're gonna do now is take these rice noodles, right? And they come now. There's two ways they come, right? So they come in. Just regular packets that you have to cut up on your own so you can kind of decide what length and what size you want them. Or two, the ones I picked out today are essentially, you know, they're already pre-cut and all you have to do when you get them home is really just take them out and untangle them, I guess, right? And then put them in your bowl. So what we're going to do is we're going to use about one pound of rice noodles and that's gonna you know you get about three or four servings depends on how much you, how much chicken how many eggs you use let's see here and then this is it's really this simple guys so uh, it's really a simple dish to make like I said my wife loves this dish I like to put a little extra Thai peppers in there at the very end so it has a little kick to it 
but for me, you know, I do feed, uh, I do make food for my, my two-year-old son, and Thai peppers is not his thing right now, so I just leave it just the way it regularly tastes, so, and this is, you know, this takes about five minutes to make, um, then I'm gonna put that off on the side. Okay, so that's how it's done. I actually have some pre-made ones for you already. And the last thing we're gonna prep is their, our chicken. So I got two little chicken tenders here. Um, I'm just gonna cut off the ends. So I'll, right here, the little fat pieces we're not gonna use because we're on a, you know, it doesn't taste as good and there's no point in eating something that it's, it's gonna be a little tough, right? So now these are these chicken tenders I got at Sam. So uh, anybody could just get a membership there and get it. So we're just gonna slice up really thinly, like so. All right. Let's see. Yeah. So this is a really easy dish to make. Like I said, um, and if if you don't like to use chicken or you you don't want to use chicken, that's fine. We could use. You know, beef instead, or shrimp, or any kind of meat that you really want. So even fish balls, like we did with the mama noodles. So let me go ahead and wash my hands up here. And then this is simply, simply it, guys. Once you have your noodles made, once you have your noodles made, your chicken cut, your Chinese broccoli done, the egg. There's nothing to do with the egg. You don't have to make that at all. And um. Now we're really set, we're really ready to go back to the grill. Uh, not to the grill, but to the stove and start making our pet save noodles. So come on over. So what we're gonna do now is start cooking our pet save noodles. So the first thing we're gonna do is cook with the chicken. Put some oil in the, we're gonna fire up this grill, this burner. That was the safe grill, I don't know why. So we're gonna fire up the stove and then we're gonna add some canola oil in here, like you said, like you can see here. So, you know, you get to add on, it really all depends on how much you wanna add. The more oil you wanna add, the more greasy, the, the more oily your dish is gonna be, but you gotta add a little certain amount, and here it is. So, we're adding just enough to cook the chicken, and then after we cook the chicken, we're gonna add a little bit more oil, and we're gonna add in the egg. Right, so but we want to have enough oil where it cooks the chicken and the egg all at the same time, and we always want to prepare. We always want to fire it up and preheat the oil so that way, when the chicken goes in there, it starts sizzling, and uh, that's exactly what we want to do. So it's a very simple process, right? So I've got everything all laid out here for you. Um, we've got the chicken, we've got the noodles, and Chinese broccoli that goes in last. Um, I'm gonna go get the egg first, too, right? All right. So we've got, I'm, I'm using two eggs today. I know, um, so we're gonna put this right here. It's very easy. And this is how I'm gonna set up all my dishes, right? So now we've got this fired up. Like I said to you last time, if I don't know if I mentioned to you, if you caught my last episode, but there's different types of stoves out there with different burners, right? The higher the burner, the better it is for your food, especially with Thai cooking. So at a full service commercial kitchen, their burners going to be go their their BTU burners are at like seventy thousand BTUs. The one I have here is the highest one that out of the four, it's at seventeen thousand. So there's some that are at twelve thousand, some of it at nine thousand. So if you have one that's at nine thousand, it's going to take a little bit longer to cook, but don't worry, it'll still come out okay. Um, but it's not going to come out nearly as good as something at least with the 17,000 BTU. Okay, so we're going to turn on the fan here. Looks like there's a little smoke coming out of here right now, so that means the oil is pretty hot. We'll add in the, uh, the chicken here. You can hear that sizzling means it, it's doing really well. So we'll just let it do that. Once you get the chicken to really kind of cook, I'm not sure what it looks like right here. So it's starting to cook really well, right? So we want the chicken to kind of get brown all the way around. Okay. 
Right. Alright, so the chicken's kind of brown now, so what we're going to do is add two eggs. There we go, that's one. That's two. And here, we're just going to keep the, the flame on a little, the heat on a little bit more of a high side. Um, we'll let the oil do its magic, and it'll start cooking the egg. Um, and then we don't want it too scrambled, but we do want to break it up a little bit, right? So, as you can see here, see that's what we got right here. So we've got the egg, we've got the chicken kind of cooked very well together. Now it's time to add in our noodles, right? Very simple dish here, okay? We're going to add in all these noodles. There we go. First thing we're going to add is the maki sauce, right? Let's take a white soy sauce. And probably like five to six squirts out of this can, on this bottle, like just like so. We're going to do the oyster sauce now. And the whole thing about cooking everybody is you're going to have to always taste, right? Everything's gone. Everybody does it by feel. All the greats does it by feel, right? They just kind of say they're cooking and wing it. There you go. So the look is starting to come out pretty good, right? See, look. We've got the, the maki sauce in here, the oyster sauce. We might actually need a little bit more oyster sauce, but we won't know that until we actually, when, until we, the dish is almost complete, and we're going to taste it, okay? So this is like half a pound of Chinese broccoli. It looks a lot in here. Wait until I add it, everybody. So, looks like a pretty full dish so far, doesn't it? Okay. What we're going to do, and I'm telling you, when we add this all in, Seems like a lot of Chinese broccoli, but it really isn't. So, right. our last ingredient is black sauce, black soy sauce, everybody. So at this point, we're going to still keep the flame on high. Um, when we add the egg, we kind of turn it down just a tad. All right, it's starting to look pretty good. Okay, look at this. So that's done with this. And look how beautiful that's looking and turning out, right? See, I'm telling you. All that Chinese broccoli, it really kind of fits the dish a little bit, right? It's got a good mixture of greens, noodles, chicken and egg. We're going to add in some sugar. So maybe about like a teaspoon, and then once you add a teaspoon, we'll go ahead and taste and see how everything tastes, right? So, what we could also do is add some black pepper. Let's see here. So, some brown black pepper. Now I'll try to taste it a little bit, see what else it needs. Mm. 
Mmm, delicious. So once we're done, we're gonna go ahead and mix up the bowl. Set it down. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Patsy noodles. This could feed it's about three servings and you're all set for lunch, alright? Alright, thanks for joining us today at Size Tide Cooking Channel. I'll see you next time.